Hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode of Painting with a Happy Old Man. Hope everybody's having a great time. We are going to refresh. I can see if anybody's out there in the paint world talking to me. Alright. There's the live and we're on. Alright folks. I'm doing an abstract today, sort of a weird one, but uh, eh, I like weird ones, so I'm going to start though with dashes and dots, and I'm going to put a light right here in the middle Now this is, it looks white probably to you, but it is not actually white. This is actually sort of a pink, um, just beauty. Hey, thank you for joining. We're doing an abstract today, sort of abstract, semi-abstract. I am an impressionist painter and I just do the show because I want people to enjoy painting like I enjoy painting. Um, and this one's going to be kind of different. So, thank you for joining me. Uh, I do a lot of Impressionism, so that means lots and lots of dashes, lots and lots of dots. And these are just whites, yellows, pinks, all together here. And thousands of little dashes and dots. Now you can see that I probably probably see I've drawn circles on on this black background. This used to be a different painting. It was a painting I didn't care much for. So I decided to paint over it and I thought I'd do something cool that I like to do. And this one is going to be sort of mind boggling. I do come back with heavier colors in the middle when I do this because I want it to be bright in the middle. And it's going to gradually fade out to the blues and the oranges and the yellows and the reds as I get deeper and deeper into my painting here. But I'm going around the circles. I've taken white paint and splashed it inside the circles. And of course, it got outside the circles, but it doesn't really matter because um, we're going to be taking colors out and around and out. But I'm not going to paint inside the circles. The circles are actually going to be bubbles filled with space. So I thought that would be kind of a cool way to go. And I'm just really lightly going through here. and hundreds of little dashes and dots, but not in the circles. And I'm not completely blending them, I'm doing a very lo uh, loose brush type of work here that I think really makes things move. And so this is going to be kind of, kind of cool. Colors in here. You gotta make the colors strong enough because I have a black background here. I did that for a reason. So. And although you don't really blend in these types of paintings, I don't generally blend. Uh, if I'm doing something that, if you were an impressionist who's doing things quick, you use a lot of dashes and dots, but you don't normally blend them really good. I do blend a little bit because I think it, but I don't do it enough to take away uh, the texture of it. So it, it'll get a really light blending um, eventually. But I'm making this middle very, very bright. And yellowy and white and pink and all those different orangey colors. I'm going to make a little orange. 
orange here. I'm going to come around the, the oranges. And I'm just circling out, basically. Although I will lighten it up as I go. I don't want the, the reds to be too red just right here. They'll get really dark as they get out toward the outer edges. I want them sort of a pinkish orange right in this zone here. Right now it looks like a dude with a face, doesn't it? <laughs> that's pretty funny. But um, that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for a, a lighter orange area. Let's add to that. So they can blend in with the beauty. And there's, it always ends up being a whole lot of different colors in this because it is of the way it's done. Believe me, this will not be a face when I'm finished, so do not despair. And I'll take a minute to do some blending, but just very minimal blending because I don't want it to, I want it to look like daylight, but surrounded by um, other things. Daylight in the middle of the day. But there's not going to be any land not going to be any sky. This is sky's going to be the whole thing, and then there will be some drifting palm trees, um, so it should be quite interesting. And here's more of a red, white. And I think I'm going to have to blend in a minute here, just a little though. I don't want to blend a whole lot. I'm going to take my blending brush, if I find it. Where are you, blending brush? There you are. My blending brush, I use it a lot. So I'm just going to, I want to get a, a, it's slightly damp, but I want it to be just almost dry when I start doing this. And I'm just going to take the tip of it and slightly brush. Slightly brush it. I'm not going to get too close to the little planets here because if I did that, then I wouldn't have the effect I'm going for. So you have to be careful when you're blending. I can always draw them back in, of course, but I'm kind of lazy, so I don't really want to do that. And I'm just, I'm not blending this all the way through. And there'll still be a whole lot of motion and movement here. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellows to this. Get that yellow out of the way. Okay. And I'm going to come back in again with my small brush. Start back in the middle and add some of the white pinks back in here. I'm going to take them all out. Pop in some yellows here. And I'm adding a lot of color to a lot of different places. So. Just a little depth of color all the way around. And it looks really weird right now, but it won't look really good for a Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Kinda. Sometimes when you blend, the background will come through if you blend too much, and that's what I did. So I'm revisiting the area here. Okay. 
¿sí? <coughs> you don't want to blend it in the mud. That's the worst thing you could do. Never blend it in the mud. Get those colors seemingly running free in here. <coughs> I'm going to come in here with a little bit of lighter magenta, but darker than what I have. I forget. Dashes and dots in different places. I don't go too high on this area here because my blues are going to come in last. Definitely, definitely want to stay out of the orbital zones here. Blues will blend in with these reds and make purples. Oh, man, turn your mind away for a minute and I got a group. Hey, how's everybody, going? How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to Grumping, uh, Grumping with a Healthy Old Man. No, um, Painting with a Grumpy Old Man. Good to see you guys, man. Just add some more color. Sometimes it gets a little difficult to mess with here. Coming on out with different colors. I know you're probably saying, what in the world is this guy doing right now? Not really sure, but we'll find out. This is a, a pinkish magenta right here. I'm going to come all the way around this little thing. I use acrylic paint. He's got some. Say, oh, how you doing? Doing another space painting? Sort of. Sort of. It's not really space. It's space inside of a bubble floating through the sky with palm trees. I'm on the palm tree kick. I don't know why, but I am. But, uh, hi, brother. How you doing? How do I say your name? Suprinda? A Suprinda? Well, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you. I like it. All my friends are on the, on the inner chat today. That's old man talk right there. I said intercheck, like I don't know what it is. I know it's the internet. On the gram. On the Insta. So I'm going around this world right here. With some of this. These aren't really worlds. These are space bubbles. Space bubbles. You gotta have your space bubbles, people. No space bubbles. No good. Get some dark magentas out here around the border. All right. And these are painted in silver right now, but they won't remain silver. and whites and throw whatever colors I want wherever I want them. I'm wild like that. Look at that. He's grumpy old man, ain't no lie. He makes little children cry. That's a theme song my middle schoolers made up for me. Not bad. Although I don't think I've ever made little children cry. Well, maybe my kids when they were little, I made them cry a few times. 
Hey. Get on board with the system, boys. I'll put the glob of white right here. I know. It's all kinds of wrong. But in the end, I shall be victorious over this painting, and we will all know that we've been painting with the grumpy old man. colors of the day shine right through here. I like to do the space paintings a lot. They are they are super fun. I keep them circles clear. They don't have to be perfect. Perfect for photographers. Real art's not perfect. Real art's fun. Something with these guys right here. I don't know why. Bring it up. Okay. A lot of those darken up when I bring down the blues. But I guess that's why they call it the blues. I'm on my hands. Every time I spend with you. All right. That'll do for right now. If I need to do more, I can always come back and do more. Now I'm going to put my sky colors in. Sky colors. And of course, this is the most. Hey, who do I get on here? Rudy Sketchbook. Rudy, good to see ya. I tell you what I'm paying, but I don't know what it would be called. Fun. It's called fun. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off by making a sort of a lighter blue. I don't want to go into the dark blues immediately. That would be a little bit rough. So, kind of ease into these blues right here. And when you add the blues, you're going to get some purples. That is okay. Purples are fine. They're great with oranges and yellows. But I'm doing these a little bit. These are more dots and dashes here. I'm trying to keep them a little more solid. I don't want it too, too janky. Is that a word? It is now. Coming on around. He will be coming around out of it when he comes. All right. We spent the day moving our school and putting everything in storage today. That was a lot of work. A lot of work. And not particularly fun, but very necessary because we'll be moving the school building for next year. Moving into a better building, which is always a good thing. Moving up instead of moving out, I guess. Better way to look at it. There's some places I'm going to come a little bit further with on the light blues. And this is a, you know, you know, it's just weird. I'm just doing a weird painting here. And that's good. I don't care. I have found that sometimes it's my weird ones that sell. And my carefully thought out <laughs> landscapes don't quite cut the mustard. 
They are beautiful to look at, but so is everybody else's landscapes. You want to sell as an artist, you kind of got to go somewhere other people haven't been. And do something that nobody else is doing. And I think you get your own style as an artist as you go. And the you know, main thing and is you really need to love doing this. This is a, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. But if, you, if you're a painter or an artist of any kind, you're almost driven to do this kind of stuff. I mean, you're almost driven to it. And you get insane with yourself when you feel like you didn't do a good enough job. You know, if you're an artist out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, all my circles are off-center for a reason, because I don't want them, I don't want them, everything in the center is sort of irritating to me. Okay. Going back to my blending brush. I found that the more ambitious paintings I've done got more likes compared to the rest. Yeah, man. It's a, to me, every, <laughs> I don't know why, but every painting to me is, a, is an experiment. <laughs> I do like an experiment. This is an experimental painting. What was I thinking about? Who knows? I was thinking about having fun. And let the traditionalist be traditional. Blend these colors in good, right around the edge here, because the blue, the blue sky is around everything today, not the other way around. And I'm dragging the blues down into my other colors, fading them out. I want them to drag down, I want them to overlap. Okay. And this is a very um, rough sort of looking painting, actually, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with the darker blues. I'm going to do this rather quickly because when it dries up, you can't do anything with it. And I'm going to Blend some of the dark dots in with the light dots. And come on out here. And right now I'm just dashing and dotting away. There are so many different ways to create art and so many different ways to paint that, you know, it's just amazing. You should really, really don't think because you don't paint like somebody else that you have no value in your work because that is not true. There's just like there's someone for everybody in love, I guess. There's something, there's someone for everyone in art as well. And you want, you want the art to be your art. You want to do things your way. I mean, basically, we become artists, I think, because we don't like doing it other people's way. We want to do it our way. And so, deal with it, world. Okay, so that's starting to look kind of weird. I'm going to come back and blend the dark in where I've got it on. I just don't want to wait too long with the dark because the dark sets it hard. And then we won't have a blend. There we go. Yeah, I get it. We're always for greater expression. Never stop growing. That, that is so true. As an artist, you can't... You can't stop. You can't say, hey, now I paint, you know, Picasso style and that's all I'm doing. I'm done. I've reached the top. That's not how it works, people. True art keeps growing, keeps evolving, keeps changing. 
I mean, if you look at the work of Picasso through his career, I mean, that guy absolutely um, constantly grew. And uh, he changed his styles. He had different phases. Um, so it was, you know, it's, and he was never happy with stopping and not learning. When you quit learning, you quit living, people. That's kind of the way it is. And never, a lot of artists are ashamed of their art. They'll say, oh, I'm terrible, that sucks, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it is. Who cares? And I've said it many times. You don't like doing it, you shouldn't be doing it. If it's not fun, don't do it. I mean, there's commercial artists that make lots of money, and that's good. I like that. I think that's cool. But And they raise their family on it and stuff. But look, I'm retired. I don't be able to make a penny on my painting. All I have to do is have a good time. And that's what I'm doing. In my dotage. And you can do that by painting. Sculpting, collecting baseball cards or whatever sport you like, Yu-Gi-Oh. My grandkids like uh, Pokemon. Whatever makes you guys happy, man, that's good, good with me. So, filling this in, this strange little world of mine. different colors in different places because it's wrong. It's wrong. It's against the art God's rules. So if it's against the rules, grumpy old man says, let's go. Let's get this thing. Let's break some rules. Let's have some fun. And you'll find out great art's going to come on its own. You don't really have to. I mean, I'm not saying don't learn. Especially young people. Always learn. Always learn. But it's not all about that. It's not all about it. Sometimes it's about having a good time while you're learning. When I was young, I thought learning was the worst thing ever. I really did. Being in school, I'm like, oh, this is so awful. Why am I here? I don't want to learn. And then as I got older, I found out there was a lot I didn't know that other people did know. I said, you know what? That's not good. I gotta learn something. I can't let these people beat me. Yes, I'm a little bit competitive. Okay. Take it one more time onto the brink with my trusty blending brush, and I'm gonna let that go. And then I'm gonna cheat again because there are no rules in grumpy old man world. There are no rules in grumpy old man world. Deal with it if you think there is. Y'all probably don't get me to sing like that where y'all from, but down here in Georgia, man, it's a good, it's a good spot. Okay. That's how I got so famous. <laughs> like I'm famous. Yeah, it's all that good singing I did. And if I wanted to, I can lighten up different sparks. That's not a word, people. I can lighten up different parts of the sky. Who says I can't do that? Who says I can't? Let there be light, and there was light, and it was good. Let this puppy... Why? I think it may be time to clean the old... Area here. Or maybe not, who cares? My rules. Okay. Alright, I'm not going to get too detailed or caught up in that. I'm going to try to do this without making a mess.
you're almost a circle. Should have just left them the way they were. They were perfect. Okay. Well, that's good enough right now. All right. Here's where we just pretty much black and white, black and white for a little while. So I'm going to get a very small brush and I am going to find some black paint. Make this black paint really, 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 really inky. Coming around, he'll be coming around the circle when he comes. He'll be coming around the circle when he comes. He'll be coming around the circle. He'll be coming around the circle. When he comes. Okay. I know that's probably a little hard to see, but it'll all work out. I liked my artwork more and more using new techniques and stuck with them. It's amazing what you can discover about yourself learning from the way other artists paint. Absolutely. I, I, watch, I watch as many artists paint as is humanly possible. Because I absolutely believe that what you just said is the truth, Grand Artist. It is absolutely true. You learn more by watching other people paint. You can actually go sit inside... A museum and look at how things were painted and learn some techniques there too. Any old gallery around, and you know, you don't have to be the Louvre. Okay. It does not have to be the Louvre. And everything we do does not have to be perfect. But it needs to be enjoyable. A lot of these big ones are so much easier to paint than the little ones. I guess because they're big and if you're wondering what uh, you're. If anybody's on there and they're wondering what I'm doing right here, uh, so am I. So too am I. Come on, black paint, get on there. All right, that's good for right now. Clean that brush out really good. And them being a little bit off or wonky doesn't really matter, and you'll see why in a minute when I get to the last phase of the painting. just simply it's not really white not really use a, a pure white it's a white mixture a little pink a little magenta a little yellow and they're not perfectly circular but guess what people neither is the earth it's more egg shaped 
right? I'm just trying to sort of make an idea of a bubble. And it, perfection is not necessary here. And if it was, I'd be out of luck because I don't have any of that. I have diabetes instead of perfection, and that makes my hand shake. So, you get what you get, folks. How much did y'all pay to be here? Nothing. You get a good deal. Bubbly bubbles. Okay. Here's the big bad boy. Let's look higher. Okay. Sorry, folks. I'm going to have to use my cheat. Using my cheat. Those little games you get on games, they all got like cheats. My wife says, I don't use them. You're not really winning if you use the cheat. Ha! Huh. I keep winning, and I'm using all the cheats. It's who I am, it's what I do, old woman. Tell me I can't use the cheat. And she's like 700 levels higher than me, but whatever. No, no, no. Okay, now I'm going to do another weird thing. I'm going to do it with a little black, a little magenta. Okay. I'm just going to go really lightly underneath these circles here. Only underneath the white part, though. This little shaded area here, although wouldn't have a shaded area in in the sky for reals, but it gives it a little dimension here. <laughs> try and stop me, Dango. Try and stop me. Not truly using black on this either. Using a different color than black. And I can thin these lines up here a little bit too. Get too fat. Not round enough or something. I'll just pull my little finger through here. This is how we do it, yeah. Looks almost like a planet, doesn't it? That sound you hear of sticky things, that's me pulling off the paint with my hand. There we go. Okay, got some somewhat of a shadow on there. Okay, now what we do, if you notice, some of these are different sizes than others. Um, these two are the smallest. That's the next smallest. That's the next smallest. And, of course, this one's the bigger. And there is a reason. On the two smallest, they're going to have small little pine, uh, not pine trees. Small little palm trees. Coming off of them. Like that. Okay. And 
now, with the magic of paint, I'm going to put a little root system in here. It's going to be very dark. Okay. And we want a pine, uh, palm tree about the same size as that one. And this is going to look really super cool when I'm done. You know how I know that? Because I said so. Okay. There's that palm tree. I'm going to come through here and give it some roots. And they're just very minuscule looking things. You can't really see them that well. I do the small ones first, then I do the next smallest one, and then the, the bigger ones. And this tree is going to be just a touch bigger, right? It's going to be a little bit bigger tree. Because it's closer to us. Oh, look at you, This is going to be, this is fun. I don't know how anybody can paint and not have fun. This is just a blast. Because even if I suck, it don't matter. Every once in a while, I'll hit a home run. Okay, and this one's a little bit bigger, so it's going to go all the way up here. I'm going to go ahead and bring some thicker paint. And this one's going to be a little bit larger than the last one. None of them are too terribly far away. But this one is most definitely closer than the other ones. And this is not the finish of the palm trees. If you see me paint four, I'm going to do a little bit better palm trees. And then we're going to come down here with some roots, and these roots will be a bit larger than the other places. Got some coming around like this. You got to put roots on that tree, didn't you? Some gnarly looking. Remember to roll your brush. And I can actually make this look more circular by bringing my roots way out here. Okay. There we go. How are we looking so far, people? It's like these words, if you're not strong on the inside, you can't be strong on the outside. If your vision is definite and strong, your painting is going to turn out strong. And this is true. Well, this is so true. Okay. Now with this one, I'm actually going to go back to my other brush here. Because this is my big tree. My big tree... I want to be big. And its roots are going to be big. The background is not truly black on this. These roots are. But the, the background is not truly black on this. Okay. Now. Like that so far, but let me here do some other stuff. Just a sec. Where's my thing? Here it is. Yeah, I have a little light reflecting off these bubbles here. Space bubble. Okay. 
That's fine right there. How am I looking so far, guys? Let's see, we, uh, we had Rudy Sketchbook. I said hello to you. Uh, Sipke, Attila joined. Hello, Sipke. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. I'm going to pull out my handy dandy fan brush. And I'm going to first make some green down here. Some a little bit darker green. Maybe a little darker. All in my paintbrush here. That's a nice color. Yeah, that a little bit. I'm going to come back here. I'm getting the little guys first. The little guys aren't quite as bright as the upward guys. But they'll be bright enough. I'll come back and give them some light. You're not going to see one palm tree. You're not going to see the, the, the palms on this tree, but you're going to see some markings along the, the root here. And it shows that it's gone off of the planet there. I think I do my palm trees different every time. I don't know why. I do like to do them. And I'm going to come back and lighten these all up, so don't worry. Don't be afraid. It's going to be nice and dark back here, so. guy. Smaller the larger. Smaller the larger. And I'm not talking very much. I'm focused, man. Like laser focused on this stuff right here. Alright, now we got that, and now we're going to come back and we're going to lighten them all up. Brush washed out really good. And now I'm going to come back with some Yellow. And I'm just going to tap out oh, way too much paint. Just going to tap out the light. I don't cover up all the green. Cover up all the green, people. You have lost the palm tree. This side needs to be just a little bit brighter, right? there. Okay. And I'm just lighten them up. A little yellow orange. There we go. Put in the sky to light there. Back 
graphic side would not be quite as light as the front side. Okay. What do you think? Got a little bit far back. I don't really care what he looks like. No, I can really see him. Okay. This guy here, he's going to come right over top of this fella with a brighter color because it will stick out better. Good. Good. Isn't that what a palm tree looks like if anybody's wondering? They don't look like this. This is what my palm tree looks like. My palm tree is beautiful. Alright. I'm going to hit a little highlight right here. Just a little highlight right here. Alright, so there we have our trees floating in space. And I'm going to go and find, if I can, little brush I'm going to come up right along the side of these trees here on the light side and I'm going to highlight them right down the way Not looking for perfection, I'm just looking for fun. I might have to go a little bit lighter on this guy right here. Come right down the little tree. Good so far. And he's focused, folks. He's got his eye on the prize. Will he accomplish his trees? Does anybody really give a crap? Okay, here we go. Put a little light on those roots in there. Here, just gonna happen in the light, not too much. So we're right here on Granddaddy Big Boy. Right there, I think we almost have it. Yeah. All right, hey, Mariana. Good to see you there. All right, folks.
right, I think that's going to get me. Floating palm trees with outer space behind the bubble. What do you guys think? Be honest. It's for posterity. This is what the picture looks like. It's a lot of fun to paint. And I hope everybody enjoyed me. And I do remind everybody again that sometime around probably 2 or 3 o'clock Eastern, I'm going to have my grandson on my live with me. And that's going to be so much fun because he's a smart little fella. He's 6 years old and he thinks he's 40. But this has been a lot of fun. If you want to buy my paintings, you can buy them on eBay, 99 cent auction at M-I-T-A-R underscore 2742. That's my site on eBay. And I really hope you guys like my painting. I think it was a lot of fun to do. But I have tons and tons of paintings and probably hundreds more coming on the website that I painted over the years and I just haven't got out there yet, but I will. But thank you so much for joining me. I just really appreciate it. Had a good time today. All right, guys. Stay well. Stay healthy. And until I see you again, stay off my lawn.